But first, Home Affairs Minister Tony Burke has warned he will consider cancelling the visas of anyone who incites discord after protesters in Sydney and Melbourne waved Hezbollah flags and carried portraits of the assassinated terrorist Nassan, Hassan Nasrallah during marches today. Yeah, protesters were filmed chanting, at your service, Nasrallah, or here I am, Nasrallah, in Arabic, expressing the willingness to dedicate the life of the individual and the community to defend mm. the leader of Hezbollah. Have a look. <laughs> So Tony Burke said the protesters, especially those on visas, would draw the immediate attention of security agencies. He told journalists, quote, I've made clear from day one that I will consider refusing and cancelling visas for anyone who seeks to incite discord in Australia. And the president of the Islamic Council on Victoria, Victoria has responded, saying Hezbollah supporters are definitely a minority, an absolute tiny minority. From my own experience, my knowledge of the community, there is no support of Hezbollah, no love of Hezbollah. Right now, this is all about support for the Lebanese people. OK, so absolutely disgraceful scenes mm. on the streets of Melbourne and Sydney. I want to start with Tony Burke. Yep. He has said, from day one, I've made it clear. Really? Does anyone believe... Has it been clear to anybody that this government has taken incitement seriously? And I don't want to rattle through all the examples because viewers would know and be very familiar with whether it was the steps of the Opera House, yes. et cetera, et cetera. So I'm sorry, Mr Burke, but when you say from day one we've been strong on this, that's absolute garbage. But maybe better late than never. Let's hope that he's true to his word and that security agencies find the people who are expressing these sentiments. I mean, people were holding up signs that uh, said things like no more USA, no more Israel, mm. signs that said a nation led by martyrs will triumph. And let's remember that this is very specific. This isn't just sort of martyr as a figure of speech. This mm. is a terrorist leader yeah. that they are saying uh, ultimately should triumph. Interestingly, in Sydney, 2,000 people. This is the regular weekly pro-Palestinian march. Mm. If Tony Burke is serious about stopping incitement, then remove their permission to run these weekly marches. If you're going to have marches like this, and even if it's a small minority of people, as is being said, even if it is, that march should be immediately shut down. They should lose their ability to protest because if you can't control the people at your protest, then you have no right to continue with these protests. No, but also, if you're out there waiting the flag of a terrorist organisation, then you should be arrested for something like this. Because if you look at the criminal code, James, it is actually a, a prohibited symbol, a prohibited terrorist organisation symbol. So this yeah. is actually the law in this country. And I think it represents a new low in the social discontent that we've been seeing bubbling away uh, under the scene since the October 7, since October 9 at the Sydney Opera House. All these events have been leading to this one moment. And now we have people waving a terrorist flag so openly, so brazenly. And that is the scary part. They're not even hiding it. Mm. A lot of these people weren't wearing a mask. Some of them were masked, but a lot of them were not. They don't care. This to them, this is their fight. And I think it's an absolute disgrace. As for Tony Burke, well, give me a break. Is he going to be fair dinkum? Because if he's going to be fair dinkum, then come out tomorrow, Minister, and say, we're getting rid of the visas of any of you who are on a visa in this country that were found to be waving that flag. No messing around. Enough is enough. There has to be some sort of consequence and there has to actually be someone putting their foot down for once and stopping and standing up to this madness because it has gone on for too long in this country. It is out of control. Today, Mark... Marks a, a very new low, a very, very big new low. And can I just say, with regards to uh, some of the Islamic leaders saying mm. this is a very small minority of people, and it, maybe it was a small number of people at that march, but I've, I've got a note. Kingsgrove Mosque in Western mm. Sydney have announced on Facebook they've got 10,000 followers on Facebook, and according to the Australian newspaper just moments ago, they've announced at that mosque a service to honour and commemorate the life and death of this terrorist leader. Well, so sorry, um, but that, that doesn't allay any fears, you know? <laughs> and I understand that, that the council's come out and put out this statement. I respect that. 
that is fine. But that does not... That, that actually creates further concern when you hear something like that. Yeah, and, and they need to do more than simply say, uh, you know, this was a small group of people. Come out and absolutely condemn Hezbollah Correct. as a terrorist organisation. Correct. Come out and say there ought to be no sympathy for this terrorist uh, murderer who has been assassinated. Yeah. Uh, make statements like that. That would be far more reassuring mm -hmm. for the Australian public. Mm.